What's more concerning to me, Chris, is that, you know, when you have a president who relies on falsehoods and lies, the biggest inauguration ever, three million fraudulent votes, my health care bill is going to cover more people, be cheaper and be terrific, beautiful and wonderful. When your castle is constructed on utter falsehood, one of the things you have to do over time is you have to take all of the power out of the truth. You need to suggest that maybe Susan Rice's activities, which everybody is saying were, if, if they occurred, were perfectly proper for an, uh, a national security advisor, you have to sort of say, oh, well, that's the other side of the story, that all of this is just Republicans fighting Democrats one more time. Forget about the fact that the FBI is investigating this administration. Forget about the fact that the president openly promotes falsehoods, because this is just another darn Democratic versus Republican fight. That's a huge win for a White House. House, uh, which wants to both distract the attention of the American people, but also for whom doing away with an absolute sense uh, of truth with any power to it is really important.